Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a Zigbee network to your home assistant. As always, there is a written version of this, so if you prefer that, check the link in the description below or head on over to techtechandmoretech.com. Now, before we jump into the video, we quickly just need to go over what you need in order to follow along. Firstly, you need Home Assistant up and running on some sort of device. I have it running on a Raspberry Pi and you need some sort of Z-Wave stick or module. I'm using the Nortec Z-Wave and Zigbee USB stick. It has both radios and controllers in one stick. I chose this because it saves a little bit of money by having just one device and it frees up a USB port on my Raspberry Pi. If you have a different Zigbee controller added to your Raspberry Pi, like a COM D2 or something like that, these instructions should work, but I haven't tested them, so don't complain to me if they don't work. You can always check the official documentation of Combi. So as long as you have everything to follow along, the first step is just to take that Zigbee USB stick or module and just plug it into whatever device your home assistant is running on. Once that is done, go on over to your computer or tablet or whatever and just log into Home Assistant. Okay, now that we've plugged in the Nortec USB device into our Raspberry Pi or whatever device you are using for your um, home assistant, what we can do is go to supervisor and system and hardware. And here we can see that the device does appear. So we've got two instances of Silicon Labs and that's because we've got Z-Wave and Zigbee on one device. We got USB one, AMA zero and USB zero. On this device specifically, USB zero is for Z-Wave and USB one is for Zigbee. So now that we've noticed that it has been detected, if it hasn't been detected for you, go ahead and just reboot your system. Maybe it's having trouble with hot swapping and we're just plugging in while it's already on. So go ahead and restart it and see if that helps. And once it does um, see it, it'll show up here and we're gonna memorize this. We're gonna hit it on the little X and then we're gonna go down to configuration. In configuration, we're gonna go to integrations and it's not automatically gonna pop up. So we're gonna hit on the plus and we're gonna search for Zigbee and we get Zigbee Home Automation. Select that and it should be pretty quick and then select the serial port for the Zigbee radio and here we've got all those ports and if you recall, like I said, USB 1 is for Zigbee, USB 0 is for Z-Wave. So we're gonna select USB 1 and submit. And that's it, success. So we can select the area where this is located, it doesn't really matter. I put guest bedroom and finish and now it's there. So if you see configure, this is where you can make changes, but you can notice it's pretty bare and that's because it's a big screen. And down here in the corner, we've got the orange plus sign. This is what we're gonna select to add new devices to our Zigbee network. So I'm gonna do this on my iPad because when you have a lot of devices that are Zigbee, they might be sort of all over your house. So it's much easier to take like your iPad or your phone because it's all just a web interface and then search for the device right next to the device to make sure that it's in pairing mode in the appropriate amount of time and stuff like that. So I'm gonna to switch to my iPad and add one of my LED light strips to Home Assistant. All right, so we're gonna add a Zigbee device. I'm gonna add a light strip that I have under the shelf behind my iPad. So we're gonna to go to Integrations, scroll down to Zigbee and hit on Configure. And then we hit the little orange button down here in the corner and hit on plus. And now it's gonna be searching for Z-Wave devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in this device. There we go. So it's pairing or looking for things. And there we go. It showed up right there. And then I can add it to the area. It is in my office. So scroll down, office. I'm gonna name it Shelf Light because that's what I've called it in the past. Shelf Light. And that's it. Now it's there. So now if I go to Devices, I've got my Shelf Light right there. I can tap on it and we can see that it works. So let's see, off, on, easy. I can tap on here and I can change its color. and it works perfectly. I can do effects, color loop, which is pretty cool. I can do all sorts of fun stuff. And there you have it, and that is added. And there you have it, folks, a Zigbee network running off of your home assistant. 
completely local, you don't have to rely on any sort of cloud, and a very easy to add and remove devices and check on your entire sort of smart home. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them as best I can. And until next time, see ya.